Hi everyone, welcome to Time by Mail. We are a um, watch part company. We supply watch parts to the trade and public. Um, today we're going to be looking at an Acura Sky Master with a badly cracked crystal. The watch has a few issue, issues around the bezel, um, but today we're going to be concentrating mainly on the crystal itself. Um, we're going to be removing the movement, the digital display, the crown and the crystal and replacing it with one of our parts from timebymail.com. So let's run through some of the tools you're going to need to do this job today. Um, a case back knife or sharp knife. You might need a razor blade as well just to prise the case back open. A jeweler's Phillips screwdriver. This watch uses Phillips screws for the digital um, display battery case back. Um, a pair of tweezers and a case back press and crystal press. So we've removed the case back um, off the watch. Sometimes these are a little bit stubborn. Um, but you can use a razor blade just to slightly lift the, the case back up um, on this ridge and once you have it up um, sufficiently you can um, use your case back knife to pry prise it off so let's start by removing the six screws that hold this battery in place for the digital display i find it a lot easier if you work with alternate screws and work your way around the cover um, a little bit like you would do when you're replacing a um, removing a wheel on a, on a on a car Use your tweezers to remove these back. This screw's still in there a little bit. That's it, that should do it. place it to one side um, now you're left with the digital display circuit board this again just use your tweezers to lift it up slightly and remove it once you have the digital circuit board removed you need to remove these two clips that hold the analog and dial in place they just lift out now to get the seiko movement out of this accurist watch you need to remove this crown i'll move the movement up slightly so you can see if you look along the crown just about here you'll see the word push next to next to the word push there is a lever there is a crown release button here that needs to be depressed while you move the crown in and out so i find it easier if you use um, your tweezers because they've got a nice sharp point on them or you can use a pin you need to depress the button and pull the crown at the same time the crown then and stem release releases now we need to remove the movement from the case use a jeweler's uh, screwdriver on the crown side lift up on the plastic surround so you don't damage the dial flip the watch over and the um, dial is then removed now when you flip the movement over you might find that you 
these two little rubber spacers drop out. They just go into these two slots here, one there and one there, just so you don't misplace them and you can put them back afterwards. So now you have everything removed. You can see that the crystal is um, badly cracked. We need to use the crystal press tool now to remove this crystal and press in a new one. So you can get many types of crystal presses, but I like to use this one. Um, it's very heavy, it's strong and sturdy. Um, it's easy to use. The only downside of this is that it's not a, a, a lever pressed down tool, it's a rotary tool. So um, you have to be careful not to leave marks on the crystal while you're tightening it up. Um, but I'll show you how to get around that. So while we take the crystal out, we make sure that um, all our parts are nice and safe. We stock these um, movement holders, part holders on timebarmail.com. So you can order yours from there if you wish. So when removing the crystal and when you've got a watch that has an outer bezel on it like this, if you can't remove this or you don't think it's you need to remove it, then you can always use a piece of cloth um, to stop it getting damaged on the aluminium die that's going to sit on top. But um, on this on this watch, they can be removed. Just need to pop it off. So now we can um, go ahead and remove this crystal. Just twist the, the crystal press down until the die connects to the glass. Keep going, you might have heard it pop out. Doesn't take much to take it out. So now that the crystal is out, we can go ahead and measure the um, original glass to make sure that it is the 37 millimeter size that we need. Thirty-seven with an edge of two point five and three point five center. So once we've measured the the crystal in the watch, usually these Acris Sky Masters are all thirty-seven millimeter. Um, as you can see, we do quite we do about five. Acris Sky Masters, and they are all the same size, 37 millimeter. So we go to our 172 stock, find it in our cabinets. This one, look for the Acris Sky Master. C182, 37 millimeter. Let's open one up. You see it's quite a thick crystal. Um, single domed. So it has flat, a flat base. And a slightly domed top. It's about 2.5 millimeters at the edge. Rising to about 3, 3.5 three millimeters in the center. So we'll be using this crystal to um, replace the damaged one on our, our watch. As you can see, it's slightly magnified. So this is our website, timebymail.com. If you'd like to order the crystal for the Acris Sky Master, if you go to our website and type in C182 and do a search, you'll find um, the Acris Sky Master Crystals come up, click on one of them, and you can order one directly from our site. They are $15.99 each.
Um, this includes postage if you're in the UK. If not, you'd have to pay extra for international shipping. So here we have our 37 millimeter Acuris crystal that we're going to use to replace it. Um, just give it a quick clean. I like to use a baby wipe just to re remove any fingerprints and then dry it with a dry it with a soft cloth. It's imperative that you don't touch the underside now. So you need to set the crystal in place by hand first of all and then we're going to use the crystal press to push it into place. I like to push it in by hand first to make sure it's nicely aligned. It's a little bit up on this side. Just push it down a little bit further. Make sure it's nice and square. And we'll go ahead, push it in with the crystal press, and then we'll be ready to reassemble the watch. Now, when you're using a um, aluminium dies, on each side you need to protect the crystal when pushing the crystal back into place so i use the same soft cloth in between the crystal and the aluminium die just to hold it stop the crystal getting scratched it down keep checking it make sure that the crystal is nicely seated and square and it's a little bit more You don't want to go too hard because you don't want to break the crystal. I think that's looking much better now. We'll try it with the bezel back in place, see if it's sit sitting in there nicely. It's fine 60. The crystal is nicely seated all the way around, it's exactly the same on each side. And that looks about right. So we're ready now to replace the movement. So before you start putting the movement in always use a, a dust blower make sure that there's no dust anywhere inside the watch i like to do inside the crown as well make sure it's completely clean before we start the movements here so keep it keep the movement on your movement holder It in place, flip the watch over, oops, <laughs> and you can start to reassemble the watch. So, first of all, is the crown. Push the crown in, make sure it's a nice click. Then 
and these clips one on each side if you can remember you down into place you had the two rubber spacers remember these go into these two slots here one two Next we're going to put in the circuit board and again, give the movement a blow, make sure there's no dust in there. This is always a little bit tricky. Try not to be tempted to use your fingers, or if you do use fingers, wear finger clots. So the circuit board's now back in place. And last but not least, the circuit board cover. Again, it's quite obvious where this goes. So I'm going to go ahead and re-screw this now and show you the finished watch afterwards. So again, when you're re-screwing it, I like to go alternate screws. Just make sure that they're nice and tight, but not overly tight to break it, to break them because it is, the cover is made of plastic after all. Final check. Again, use a dust blower. Get it clean. Make sure everything's working okay. Give the watch once over. Make sure it's still nice and clean. Then we can put the case back on, put the bezel back on, and the watch is finished. So we've come to the end of the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and it was a bit of in, it was informative for you. Um, as you can see, the crystal is all now fitted. It's um, watch is looking a lot better than it was. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, as they say, and like the video. It would be much appreciated as this is a new channel and we're trying to get things started 
um, all the help we can get with is much appreciated. So, watch is a little bit big for my wrist. <laughs> See you in the next one. Bye.